hello friends welcome to the desi mazdoor channel um, in this video i'm going to show how to edit your vocabulary um, so let's say if you have some words which you want to retrain or there are options associated with those words how to what word should follow one particular word or what word should follow uh, or precede one particular word i'll show these options to you so i'm going to show how to edit uh, vocabulary so let's start wake up edit vocabulary go to sleep so this brings up a list of all the words that dragon naturally speaking recognizes um, so what we are going to do is we are going to search for one particular word let's say we are going to search for greg and uh, then we are going to see all the options wake up switch to spell mode g romeo echo g press tab move down one line move up one line go to sleep so as you can see I just spelled out the word the, the spelling for the word Greg and uh, I used um, for R and for E I used the uh, military alphabet that is uh, R uh, Romeo and E uh, echo and I've recommended in other places in my blog that um, you should uh, learn the military alphabet and that will become simpler for you to say certain letters and dragon will not be confused um, so now that we have selected uh, this particular uh, word uh, now let's see what are the options so as you can see on your right um, the option is one is add actually that is adding another word delete is deleting this word then train train is the option that I wanted to focus on that you can now retrain this word um, so where is this useful mostly um, when I have uh, a name um, that I have um, that I have added and trained dragon naturally speaking and somehow um, dragon naturally speaking is not recognizing it so then what I do is I go into the vocabulary editor and then uh, train it once again um, um, then let's also look at the properties um, which is probably I'll make a separate uh, video for that but let's just quickly look at the properties option so wake up click properties go to sleep so in this as you can see um, one of the properties is uh, if you look at the <coughs> third line where um, the mouse is it says insert one space before and uh, one space after so you can actually um, uh, add more spaces if you want and similarly proceed by nothing and follow with nothing you can actually add various things like an exclamation mark um, uh, for uh, a particular word um, the options in this are also described in the help uh, that is placed over here where the mouse is and you can go through these options otherwise I will also probably make another video uh, these are pretty useful in um, uh, whenever you are having for example and in fact the help also uses uh, the scenario is uh, let's say if you have a meter and you want to say three meters so instead of saying three then space M E T E R uh, instead of transcribing that uh, you can make dragon say just three and the letter M um, so in such scenarios uh, these properties are useful click OK wake up click OK go to sleep so now I'm just going to demonstrate a train uh, which is pretty simple uh, you would have encountered train initially when you were probably dictating and uh, there was a word which was misspelled and then you would have gone to a um, correction 
uh, dialog box and it would have presented you with train so this is another way where you can go back and train a particular word instead of waiting for it to be incorrectly transcribed and uh, then retraining it um, so wake up click train click go Greg click done click done go to sleep so I hope uh, this video has been useful to you in this uh, way you can actually batch up all uh, the words that you think have are not being properly transcribed by dragon and then train them in uh, in uh, in, in a sh one shot um, if you like this video if this has been useful to you please consider subscribing to the channel and uh, I have my blog link also in the description you can go to the blog um, and uh, look for any updates that may have happened after this video was uh, posted uh, thanks a lot for watching and I hope you were able to incorporate a voice recognition in your daily tech life uh, in order to maybe either um, deal with your chronic pain as I am doing or to tackle a disability I hope uh, voice recognition would be useful to you uh, thanks bye